Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be diving into the new DLC that recently released titled Victors and Vanquished, featuring a lot of campaigns, I think it's 19 of them, made by Filthy Delphia, the esteemed scenario designer. Um, I debated a long time on what order to go through these in. I think instead of going through difficulty order or anything like that, I'm just going to go through um, chronological year order. Uh, kind of like how I did it for the historical battles. So I think, looking through all of these, the earliest one here is Geyseric, um, 406. And there is an achievement called Vandalize here where we need to sack Rome by a certain, uh, a certain time frame here. So maybe it'll be tough, maybe it'll be easy. Let's go ahead and get started. On the last day of the year 406, the Vandals crossed the Rhine River into the Roman Empire. Their great king, Godigisil, had led them a thousand miles from their ancient home, fleeing the discord and violence brought forth by the coming of the Huns. When the Vandals reached the frozen Rhine, however, King Godigisil was already dead, killed in battle against the Franks earlier in the year. His sons, Gunderic and Geyseric, now assumed leadership of the tribes. Their people were hungry and cold, shivering on the western bank, the river that marked the frontier between the civilized lands of Rome and the barbarians to the east. The Vandals had already trekked across Germania, but their journey had only just begun. All right, uh, I think this patch came with a bunch of balance changes. I'm not gonna go through those. There were some pathing changes, I believe, as well as uh, some new hotkeys. I'm probably not gonna use them since I'm not super familiar with them, but uh, we'll have fun nonetheless. UI looks a little bit different here. Our main objectives are to find a home for the Vandals and to not lose our town center. Our secondary objectives are to kill four Frankish chieftains. Our hands tell us that the Vandals are a migrating people. This means you cannot construct houses, mills, lumber camps, farms, or many other buildings. Your town center is your only resource drop site. Interesting. Your town center can be packed into an ox cart and moved to be unpacked elsewhere. When you move your town center, all other buildings are lost. Oh, lovely. Therefore, you should play differently from normal Age of Empires gameplay. Instead, think like a nomadic leader. Scout for resources such as forage bushes and enemy farms that can be captured. When you find a suitable location, stockpile wood to rebuild your camp as all of your buildings will be lost. Do not be scared to move on. Better to rebuild and resource, resource rich land than to starve to preserve some buildings. Seek out livestock and use your hunting bonus for long distance gathering. Gold can only be obtained by destroying enemy buildings and killing enemy units. Roman cities and armies carry much more gold than tribal camps. Explore to find priests and warriors of two allied peoples, the Sweeby and Allens. Exploring also unlocks new objectives. Oh boy, lots of stuff going on here. Roman farms can be captured and harvested by villagers, but not rebuilt. Keep migrating south. You will eventually exhaust your resources and stagnate if you do not keep moving. Your heroes will grow stronger as they fight, to, uh, or as they fight so use them in battle often. You will not lose if they are killed. Your scouts report that the Vandals have crossed the Rhine into Roman Gaul, already plundered by the earlier arriving Franks in purple and Goths in cyan. Resources are scarce in this raised Gallic countryside, so the Vandals must first steal livestock from their enemies and then continue south to richer lands. The Romans in red have numerous cities in Gaul, Hispania, and Africa that can be raised for gold and access to resources. This includes farms that can be captured and harvested from, though the Vandals must inevitably move on when the farms are exhausted. Okay. Once the Romans understand the Vandal threat, they will begin offensive operations against the Vandals. Their comitatenses represent their mobile field armies based in their cities. Only sacking Roman cities reduces this threat. Gotcha. Another nomadic people, the Maori of North Africa in yellow, inhabit and raid from their desert oases. They will be a threat to any settlement in Africa. Finally, two people allied to the two peoples allied to the Vandals, the Swaby and Allens in Grey, can be found migrating throughout the region. They will join the Vandals if their camps are found. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Hungry and cold yeah, after their severe migration across the frozen Rhine, the Vandals are in no mood for peace. 
To make way for the Vandals, the Franks must be destroyed. Belator. Can't even select my villagers Goths here. herd animals nearby. These can feed many warriors. Still can't select my villagers. The Vandals are a people on the move. The ox cart contains the necessities to establish a camp. Unpack the town center near the trees and animals at the destroyed Frankish camp. Okay, uh, so we get gold from destroying these things. I'm just gonna gather food with my initial bill, so uh, first of all. It's gonna be a tricky scenario, I feel like. Oh, don't lose our scout to those purples over there. Let's make sure our guys also being trained. Again, unpacking our TC here. Three more chieftains to kill. That's a priest. Nice. The Vandals are a migrating people, traveling to wherever they can find resources and then moving on once the food is exhausted. They cannot construct mills or lumber camps. So their town center must be moved to grow the tribe. To migrate, train an ox cart at the town center, packing the structure. Ooh. All other okay. buildings will be dismantled and lost. Migrate once you have exhausted local resources or to escape danger. These Allens fled the coming of the Huns and will stake their tents alongside those of the Vandals. Okay, let's have the priest heal up our infantry here. Lots to absorb. I think these cav archers are going to be very useful for us. They can uh, cut enemies out like this. The young king Gunderic and his half brother Geiseric are inexperienced warriors. Only killing and raiding will grant them the scars of war honored by the Vandals. Let's get some more villagers on the wood here. We have unlimited pop cap space. I'll make sure I don't lose too many kip tracks here at the outset. Produce a barracks. So we can start replenishing our melee forces here. Yeah. Okay, I want my guys to be killing units wherever possible. My kip tracks. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have my two hero units train. Keep build production coming. Leverage our population cap here as much as possible. Okay, let's have our two here units slice away at those buildings. Um, five wood choppers, nine food gatherers. That's fine for now. Any enemy units here? Yes, there are. Yeah. Okay, looks like some purple units over here. Let's snipe those guys out so that they don't bother our villagers later. Let's build a barracks. Start 
start thinking about how to get these chieftains killed. Okay, we just neared a lot of enemies. Let's keep hitting them with the hit and run here. Yeah. Have these bills go for that deer. Yeah. You can go for this deer. Keep going for some Norse warriors. Let's get on the coast here. The important thing, I think, is to use these cab archers well. It's nice that we got these at the start. Uh, I'm gonna have to accept that since we can't do farming, we can't, like, boom like we can normally. Our food income is going to be pretty stilted. We can't even trade food either, so we just got to keep that in mind. For that reason, I think we got to take a little bit better care of our infantry units since they cost food. Leverage our here units a little bit better also. Okay, very cool. Let's well, not lose our hero units. We just got some HP back, fortunately. I think we are mostly clear here. We have 17 wood choppers, only 9 hunters. Let's have the, some of these hunters go for that boar over there. Think about advancing to field age. I doubt we'll need dark age buildings. We can't build mills, we can't build docks. A lot of stuff we couldn't build. Huge number of herdables in the west here that we just got. Keep sniping chieftains here. Train more bills. I don't mind stockpiling tons of wood either, because we'll be needing to deconstruct and reconstruct our buildings pretty frequently for the nomadic lifestyle. All right, yeah. learning some hey, units. Yeah. Very good. Let's have you guys go for those deer up there. Keep going for bills. Got 30 bills. I think we can start going for feudal age. There are rich lands with forage bushes, game, and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town center to migrate to these lands when ready. You will lose all buildings, so ensure you have enough wood to rebuild. Wow, he got my Kipchak. That sucks. The ancient city called Carthage once challenged Rome. It is ordained that this will be the final and sought-after home of the Vandal people. From Carthage, they will fulfill their destiny. But without boats, the Vandals must first convert a Roman dock to make the journey across the sea possible. Okay, the uh, Kipchak there is pretty rough. That chieftain got a good snipe. Uh, redemption now available at the monastery. Okay, we're not even at feudal age yet, so 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Let's bring our soldier back. Try not to lose any more kip tracks here. I'm gonna hold back on Vill production for the time being. Something tells me that booming up is not really the right move here. We're gonna have limited access to food anyway. Okay, let's get to the next stage here. Have our seven remaining kip tracks come up here to fight. Okay, those units. Dude, we already drew out the chieftain. That was fast. Let's be careful here. I don't want to lose my priest. I only have one. Spilt Frankish blood is justice for their killing of King Godigisel. Okay, getting close to feudal age here. I had to do quite a bit of microing. Uh, still have plenty of herdables. Let's go for that deer up there. Have our remaining Kipchaks come up here to clear the area. There might be more herdables up here. There's definitely more deer. Let's get a blacksmith online. And I might as well save up for Castle Age right away. We have the food here, I think, so long as I don't build any more villagers. I'm okay with 32 villas, that's pretty strong right now. Let's not lose any more Kipchaks if we don't have to. We got forging here. Have the priest focus heal our archers. Take a wheelbarrow. Hey, the warriors clamor for the chance to sack a Roman city. The plunder that can be taken is too great for the Vandal King to ignore. Yeah, I think we killed most of the throwing axes. What remains are just Norse warriors here. Yeah, that's fine. 300 wood, or 300 food. It's also okay. Let's get Fletching. I don't think it'll apply to our Kipchaks, unfortunately, but later on we can transition to Cavalry Archers. We're gonna be collecting a lot of wood and food, I feel like. Just based off of the gut feel that I have here. Until we can get farms or something more tangible online, it's gonna be really tough. Let's go for this boar here. Go get us and grab that geese. Geese, geese, geese. 
Okay, looks like there's no more Frankish units down there. Let's rotate our soldiers back. Uh, I'm going to need a second Tudelite building here. Okay, increasing skill level, getting tons and tons of wood here. That's fine. Not sure I want to fight Goth. We are the Goths, but enemy Goths, Teal, they might have Huskerls. Which, quite honestly, is kind of scary. Let's get the to and Alans await the Vandals on the frontiers of Hispania. There are many okay. Roman cities to sack there. Understood. Yeah, let's scout west here. Have you guys scout south? The Roman cities are strong, but the outlying villages and farms are vulnerable to raids. Farms themselves can be captured and cultivated until they are exhausted. The daughter of the Sweeby King has been kidnapped by the Franks. He will give a great reward if she is rescued. Okay, let's get blacksmith text while we're advancing age. Uh, princess here to save. All right, suits me just fine. Um, how close can we get here? Oh, not very close. Got another priest, that's very nice. Oh, uh, let's kill these guys with our horse archers. I'd rather not lose uh, another guy here. The Christians among the Vandals ask the king to build a monastery to spread the righteous teachings of Arius. Let's bring these soldiers back down. Maybe get these bushes online here. Hey, yeah. Hey, um, let's get chainmail armor. Don't need to train any more villagers for now. The micromanagement might get to be too much for me here. There are rich lands with forage bushes, game, and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town center to migrate to these lands when ready. You will lose all buildings, so ensure you have enough wood to rebuild. Yeah, that's fine here. I'm not in any huge hurry. We have good stuff right now. I would like to be able to upgrade my cavalry archers, though. Marauders lets me train Tarkins and Stables. It's new. Hey, sir. Let's get bloodlines for our cavalry. That'll apply to our horse archers later on. And I want to rebuild here. And that involves cleaning out this camp. While we're doing that, we can research our blacksmith techs so that our future soldiers are stronger. Lost the kip check. Kind of sloppy, honestly. Let's bring these soldiers back down south here. Have them clear these buildings for gold. Still haven't completely run out of resources here, so I'm not super concerned. 
Hey, sir. What's this tech? Chieftains, infantry versus cavalry get more. That's fine. Let's get uh, archer hey, armor. Sir. I think after... As long as we avoid this section real quick, I think we can build our new TC over here. In fact, I'm going to start rotating these guys in this direction. And I'm going to repack my town center now. I think we've pretty much exhausted this area so we can migrate. Okay, we've unpacked. Lost yet another kip track. Rip. Okay, let's heal up at our priest here. Bill's idol. Let's bring all our bills here. We're migrating. I think idle time is just something that we're going to have to accept. I'd like to build my TC out in the clearing here. Lots of hunts, lots of berries. It's a decent secondary spot. Let's bring our soldiers over here as well. Uh, they can start rebuilding things like monasteries, though. Let's get an archery range out, too. Get our TC going. Uh, we only have four Kipchaks left. Okay, we'll replace them with cavalry archers soon enough. Yeah. Buvere. Bereit, ja. Eise. Bereit, ja. Okay, let's pick up uh, redemption. We've built a monastery. That's a secondary objective here. Down since it's taking a while to unpack. So these bills are gonna be idle for so long. Did I accidentally uncancel the town center unpack? That is really rough. Hey ya. Uh. I did! Okay, but fortunately, while it's packing, it seems like I don't lose hey, HP sick, here. Man. Yeah. That is rough. Yeah. Pretty nasty yeah. misclick. Yeah. Yeah. Gold can only be taken in raids by sacking enemy buildings or killing enemy soldiers. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be destroying these buildings. Lots of wood in this area. This is a nice little clearing. We'll rescue the princess here. Take our time, use cav archers. We'll also pick up squires with the food that we've got. Might as well make use of the time that we have here. Okay, let's put these guys, the resources here. So we don't lose any of our precious resources. This does feel a little clunky. Hey, yeah. Have all our bills drop their res off. Yeah. And we'll assign everyone to wood. For the time being, that'll just have to be okay. Okay, this is fine. We'll have villagers coming out. Uh, our Kipchaks are going to be kind of weak, but 
We have cow markers now, and these guys are going to perform much better for us, I feel. Let's get a blocksmith reset up here. Still have plenty of wood, that's good. Long fold, though. Might as well get barding armor tech while we're getting food. Idle Vils, it's fine. I'm not going to train any more Vils. I actually train more by habit here. I don't think that's the play. I think the play is to use our hero and our melee units to bait the enemy out like this. In fact, let's not overbait. Let's bait the exact right amount. And in the meantime, our economy here can just continue trucking along, getting that wood for later usage. We're actually low on gold now. Can I build a university? <laughs> yeah, I figured. Um, but that shouldn't stop us from eventually gathering enough gold to research the melee attack upgrade. One thing that is nice about the Kip Tracks that the Cav Archers lack is that they have instant fire. Like, their recoil time is pretty much zero. You see how, like, the Cavalry ar Archers kind of pause there before doing anything? The Kip Tracks fire instantly, which is very nice. My cab archers do have full up upgrades though. I did lose one just now, that's no good. I mean, it's too aggressive for their own good. Okay, wouldn't mind another cab archer. I do need gold desperately. I definitely want to crush these buildings. The archer armor is helping majorly here. 
Wood's not going to be a problem for the foreseeable future. I want to consider moving soon. Hmm. Definitely didn't kill off these villages here very quickly. All right, be careful not to be too overzealous here. The bait and switcher is valuable. Yeah. Making sure we have gold to get more cav archers will be the play, I feel like. Again, lots and lots yeah. of wood. Not much of anything else. But we are slowly but surely clearing out this Frankish camp. I wish I had more cav archers. The guys are clearing these guys out slowly but surely though. There we go. 500 golden tribute, that's nice. That's a cool little booster shot. Okay, because of that, I think soon I will be ready to uh, migrate southwards here. Let's get iron casting. And as soon as those techs are done, in fact, I might just start packing away my town center now. Let's keep going south. If I can find like a new berry patch or something, that would be ideal. Okay, you got some hurtables. Even more hurtables. The hunt is good, but if I can find a berry patch, that would be the best. Hey, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much luck here. Look, scenic. Next berry patch I see, I'm settling on it. We've built monastery. I don't know what Aryan heresy is. Seems like there's a river crossing here. Any enemies? There are enemies. No, we lost a sheep. Yeah. The later. Yeah, that's my bad. Let's bring these guys over here. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Any in this little area here. I do not like my current position. Seventeen hundred food. That is quite a lot of food. But this area's only got wood now. I guess a confrontation with Romans was inevitable. More Romans there. Yeah. Yeah. Guess we will have to fight them. Doesn't seem like it's optional. Uh, wow, Gunderic is pretty strong. Let's not lose him. Let's sit underneath this tower. Yeah. 
Seems like we're now in Roman territory. Kind of scary. There are huntables up here, so I can hunt them if I need to. Uh, an enemy farms to take. Alright. I've decided we are going to settle here. Sounds good. Very nice. No need to go too much further. And in fact, I won't stay here very long. I'm just gonna unpack. Let's unpack. Try to get to the Imperial Age. Off what we have here so far. I'll need more gold. So I'll need to raid somehow. Is that a Grey Yurt? These guys might be friends. These Sweeby, warriors of the German Yeah, forest, oh my god! Friends of the Vandal. Yes. Yeah. These Sweeby yeah. are our new besties. Hey, yeah. That's it, Stroll. Hey, that's it, That's that. Okay, unpacking 72%. This looks like a Roman town here. I don't want to trigger them too early. Okay, let's in fact get the siege workshop up. Hey, yeah. Let's get a monastery up again. Oh, I can convert the mill. Because I've got redemption. Yes! Not sure if that's good, though. It might not be good, because it's not going to be netting us any... Uh, Any gold, right? Oh, they have heresy, okay. Hey, okay. All idols can just do this. Let's build let's get to Imperial Age. I don't want to Lose the farms. I want to steal the farms. Everyone else can chop wood. You guys can get that. You three can get that. Let's get an archery range online. Let's build a battering ram. I do want a ram to be able to get through these walls. Preferably more than one ram. Let's have these bills. Go for those deer. Do some long range hunting. You bills. Go for that deer. Do even more long range hunting. Oh! I lost a farm. I didn't realize that Berserk was still attacking it. That is a gaff on my part. That was like a hundred food lost. That's unfortunate, but we gotta roll with the punches here. The first Huns ride into Gaul. The Vandals oh must venture deeper into Roman territory to escape this threat. Okay, those guys scare me. I'm not liking where they're sitting. So I'm going to see if I can push into this Roman town.
Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna have these berserks come at the castle here, or at the gate. Okay, those fellows got us in. I think they're going to pay with this with their lives, but that's okay. They have enemies coming at us now. We really need to get the hell out of here. Oh man, those guys are getting kind of close. I think we pack it up. I think we pack it up and move. We need to preserve whatever few forces we have here. Have our hero units kick in. Ram pathfinding being weird as usual. Lovely. Knock out the tower, please. So red is heresy. We can't, in fact, convert them. We can, however, have our priest heal the guys that we do have. While we come in and knock hey, yeah. these buildings down, oh my god, this is so disorganized. This is a tough mission, man. Okay, looks like the Gauls are going for that Roman town, which is really good for us, in fact. I was terrified that they are going to come kill us. Um, but our military might is quite low now. Pretty much only have the one ram. I don't have a good secondary place to settle here. Oh, we have a few soldiers here. We can uh, keep sacking the city. I wish we saved more of our berserks though. It would have been nice to keep them. Let me move these cav archers forward underneath this tower for just a little bit. Very nice. We managed to kill off both the ram and the scorp. I don't want to lose my priests. But while we're still sacking away here, these bills are just chilling. We did farm up a little bit of that food, which is nice. We got 10k wood in the bank. So rebuilding will definitely not be a problem once we get the opportunity to actually rebuild. Let's move these bills in here. Re Priest is very useful too. My main regret here is not saving more of the Berserks. Yeah. 
Okay, tower down, very nice. I'm really glad we also invested into the smithy techs as well. Whoa, 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 enemy soldiers here. We're gonna lose one melee unit there, but we didn't lose our hero, which is important. We are gaining gold this whole time. 700 gold. Okay, fortunately that town seems to be taking the brunt of the abuse here. There is a berry patch over here. If I had known that was there, I would have set up shop earlier. Not sure if it's worth it to do so yeah, now. His dreams. The Vandal King sees a great city aflame and conquered by the Vandals. Sacking Rome will immortalize his people, but reaching the city is not yet possible. The Vandals must first conquer Hispania. I might actually slide down this way. Ah, uh, it looks too risky. I don't like it at all, actually. I'm gonna bust the hole through this wall here with my ram and go through this way. I, I just don't like the idea of passing through this teal area here. I'll be idle for a little while longer, but I feel like it is worth it. And this should be plenty of gold for us here in the city too. I think building a TC down here temporarily and gathering the food might be a good the warriors idea. warriors will sing songs for their dead brothers in the burning ruins of the Roman city. We sacked a birdie gala. Very nice. Did we uh, get anything for that? I think we got maybe a little bit of gold. Whoa! Whoa, the enemy's making siege weapons. Oh, I see. Oh, God. They produce siege weapons now that... Now that we've sacked one of their cities. I get it. Uh, that is... Freaking awful. We, in fact, may have just lost because of that. I think we have no choice but to kind of make a break for it here. We might lose a lot of units, but I don't really see us having another choice. I think we just gotta make a break for it. We can't stay here. Okay, we can stay to destroy these buildings over here. I think that's a good idea. Oh god, this is messy. Yeah, we can stay to destroy the siege workshop. Uh, as soon as we destroy that workshop, though, I think we gotta get out. Maybe this archery range, too. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. 
Patience. Yeah. Okay, ignore the rest of these buildings. We can't stay here and sack that. We gotta run. We absolutely gotta run. Hilariously enough, we only lost like two villagers there. That's crazy. Let's retreat back to this side of the river. Okay, let's bring these soldiers up to the front. Lost two more villagers there. Um, yeah, let's bring these guys over across the shallows over here. Bit of a mispath by us. Yeah. Oh my god, what is this pathing? Please don't. Please, please come back here. Okay. That's nice. Hey Let's kill off that legionary that's chasing us. Hey yeah. Okay, head down south. We can set up south there for a little bit. I think we'll be safe. Yeah. Seems like some units are being produced, but we're not in huge trouble just yet. Where is our TC at? It's over here. That's alright, we got some stuff. I'm gonna set up my TC back here. Okay. Oh man, so temporarily we're yeah. safe, I think. Where are my hero units? My hero units are over here. Let's not leave them hanging. Let's bring any of our idle sheep over if we can. Not sure if we'll be able to. But our new goal now is to convert the dock over here, one of them at least. Okay, let's advance to the Imperial Age while we're here. Hey, uh, so let's have, uh, let's build, Boover, rebuild our Siege Heise. Workshop. Let's rebuild our Boover, Monastery. Heise. 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 Uh, enemies yeah. coming at us now. Okay. This is okay. I'm actually fine with rebuilding my stuff out here. Didn't mean to intrude on you guys. Okay, might eliminate these guys. They don't look super strong. I think the pressing concern is to get here, which means we definitely need Imperial Age. I'm already in the Imperial Age. What am I even doing? Uh, let's get Blacksmith. I want my MP Techs. I'm losing all my soldiers. Okay, but do I get university? I still don't get a university. Sad.
I think we get capped ram here. Let's get uh, a few more rams. Get more techs. And uh, yeah, I'll build a few more villagers. Could always use some more food. So we don't get ballistics or chemistry. Very sad indeed. Uh, I might go for Chieftain's tech though. Let's explore a little bit with our soldiers here. Don't get too complacent. And we can at least find more hurtables. Okay, enemy forces incoming. Will they fight the Goths? Probably not. Okay. Not too threatening of an attack for us, to be honest, but I expect the attacks to escalate. We're able to pick up Drugina if we want to. Um, let's do Chieftains for the extra cavalry bonus. Oh god! Okay, those four bills are just done. We gotta be aware that we can't throw food away super easily either, because it's hard to gather that stuff. Right now, I'm just earnestly hoping that sending these forces weakens the enemy a little bit. We are out of gold again. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with that camp. I don't think it's worth the time. I think we got to just focus on continuing to push in. I don't want to lose any of my existing forces here either. Our cavalry hero units coming in super handy here. Some pigs over here to be captured. Lots of pigs. Let's bring these back. As we bring those pigs back, we can start gathering from them. I'm not sure what these random little spikes are, like the FPS freezes. Sorry about that, folks. Hopefully it's not too damaging to the viewing experience. Oh, 
Hätte ich sie? Ja, das ich soll. Ja, dies ja. war. Der Rest ja, ist dies war. Ja, dies war, das ja, ist so. Ja, Nice. Our hero unit can kill the monks. While uh, everyone else runs away. Then we can run in with our melee units and finish them off. Oh god, bit off more than I can chew here. Don't want to lose this hero. Focus heal the hero. Let's not destroy the farms either. Nice, we still have a decent number of Berserks left. Okay, we can't stay here forever though. Time has come for us to start rotating south. We'll have these guys move here. All these units move here as well. We need to think about how to bust into this area, which I'm sure is going to be walled. Yeah. Okay, monks coming out, that's okay. Is there anything over here? No, we have an unbuilt building. Oh! That's fine, but I think we should run. Let's have our hero unit take these guys out. Oh, don't go for my villagers, please. This thing's gotta go. That's gotta go right away. Pronto. Okay, very nice. I don't even care that I'm not getting food or wood right now. I have, like, low food, but plenty of wood. I think the main thing here is to go for a military push. We're just too unstable right now. Okay, Cal Archer is doing good work here. You guys are farming gold back here, that's fine. Archer is doing a great job of pulling the enemies out. Still farming gold off everything else. 
Let's heal up our hero unit here. Have these capped rams knock out this gate. Okay, don't mind capped rams getting attacked by a tower here. Okay, Rams are in, that's good. Let's knock out this tower. Kill the monk, please. Other units will deal with everything else. Dude, this hero unit is turning out to be such a... Yeah. Such a hero, man. Yeah. An actual hero. So hey, useful. These priests are proving to be super valuable also. Yeah, I know I'm leaving my military up north more idle than I need to. But making this push down south here is the more vital course of action right now. Okay, very nice. Let's uh, bring these military units down. And we need priests to uh, to convert one of these docks here. No time to think about economy. Just gotta get in there and do it. Okay, let's start rotating our civilians down south. Oh, we didn't completely clear these guys. Let's do so now. The vandals learn quickly and can now take to the sea. Nothing can stop the Vandals from reaching Africa and sacking Rome. Okay, dock and ships have been enabled. Suits me just fine. Let's keep converting here. We need to grab a settlement in Carthage, wherever that is. I assume it's across the water somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, we've got plenty of wood, so let's uh, let's spend it. I don't want to trigger these guys too hard here. Lost that soldier, unfortunate. Let's get Galian going. Let's have you. Oh. Let's not go too overboard now. Technically speaking, we don't need to super aggro any of these guys. Okay, this is fine. We're on 430. Let's keep getting transport ships. Let's get a few Galeans out also. Get our people on these ships. A lot going on here. Heal up our hero. Deserves it. Each ship can hold 20. Very nice. Okay, this is brutally disorganized, but we'll make it work. Still have 10k wood. More Huns have entered. Looks like these cities are getting wrecked now. Ugh. Okay, this must be the Carthaginian coast. Um, looks like we have yellow units here. Let's uh, do some damage to these fellas. Okay, this must be Carthage. Hopefully as soon as we unpack this TC, they'll be uh, permanent. And maybe that means we'll be able to build more TCs. Kind of build more. We're at 431 CE here. I don't even know where Rome is, so I can't even begin to sack them. 55. Yeah. 75. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. what does it mean to settle for good in Carthage? I have no idea what it means. Where is... is this not Carthage? I guess the next thing to do would be to sack Rome. I thought we'd get a little bit more help than what we've been getting, but... Guess not. Uh, one thing that I do know we can do is we can start building fishing ships. At least, if there's any justice in this world. Because there's fish in the water here. So theoretically, you know, yeah, we can't build fishing ships. I should have been doing that long ago. Let's get more of those out. And we can start shelling the coastline here. For more gold. Okay, our land military is pretty bad right now. Gotta be sure that we set them up for success here. Gunderic falls in glorious battle as his father did. His half brother Geyseric now leads the tribes. Man, I should have taken extra measures to protect that guy, but he did his job mostly. The real question now is how can we. snowball this even further? into success here. I need a cheap infantry. Uh, oh, I cannot build fish traps in this scenario apparently. So I don't want to overinvest on the fishing ships. To protect, uh, protect our gold units and our navy a bit here. We have a lot of food gatherers here with the fishing ships, but not much we can, in fact, do with this. Carthage, the final Vandal homeland is in sight. Settling there will finally end the migration. Okay! Apparently, I got. 
set up on the wrong island. My bad. That might cost us the achievement, unfortunately. Roman has range 12. That castle had, we don't know what range. But we can bring these guys over. I think I gotta unpack the TC. I have enough ships. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to. Travel by land specifically, huh? Hey, yeah. Let's see if we can assault by water. It's 433 CE. I think making a landing the by water. Is still a Roman lake, and their fleets block the way to Rome. The Vandals can either build warships to battle for the sea, or colonize Sicily and move up the Italian peninsula by land. Okay, gotta make sure that I don't sail by that castle by accident and lose my TC. Yeah, hey sir. All these wheels just sitting here, just chilling. All our fishing ships just sitting there, just being chilling. 434 CE. I don't even know if I have time to sack roll, man. The achievement might be out of range for us mere mortals. My town center isn't over there, man. Why? I thought I put him in here. Oh, God. I unloaded my soldiers here, too. This is precious, precious time that I don't have. Oh god. Fortunately, it seems like the sea is not too full. Need to figure out where Rome is now. Only 16 more years. This is such a waste of time, man. But okay. After the long journey, 
The Vandals finally end their migration in Carthage. Okay, new buildings enabled. Sack Rome, we have 15 years. I'm starting to understand the process a little bit better. I'm, I might not be able to get it in this... I might not be able to get the achievement in this mission. Because I didn't realize that this is what Carthage was. Okay, let's get a university going. Let's get these bills actually working on stuff. Okay, now that the migration's over, we have all sorts of things that we can do. Pick up chemistry, ballistics, masonry. Approach upon the blockade. Rome, the greatest city in the world, is now ripe for the taking. Gotta research a lot of stuff now. Man, this mission is definitely different than a normal flavor of mission here. Get double the axe going. Sack Rome, I guess we destroy these three things. It's 435 CE. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, this guy, this villager got left on our shore, huh? Uh, okay. Go ahead and build a TC here. That works out in our favor. We're gonna need more wood eventually. Hey, yeah. I have a market. We'll get guilds. Might need to build stone. Defeat the Maori to end their raids. I truthfully don't really give a shit about the Maori right now. I've got other problems to be dealing with. Let's get two man saw, let's get heavy plow, let's get architecture. This bar, yeah. Get more TCs out. Get mills out. We need a source of wood though. This will come from here, I guess. Let's not waste our ships completely. Break through the blockade. Four thirty six CE. Let's get a few more Dromans. Hey, hey, yeah. Low gold, that's fine. Let's get more vills out on wood out here. 
these cav archers are just gonna need to be happy with what they're doing over here. They'll be on security detail. These bills will hopefully stay alive. Let's send a couple of these transports back to pick up these priests. We might need them later. They cost gold also. Farming gold by knocking out river fortifications here. Hey, sexy soul. Who bere? Bere ite? Who bere? Bere ite? Yeah. Okay, definitely need a castle. Uh, no stone anywhere though. Let's have these drawmans start hammering away at the gates. We have auto seed on. These guys out of wood. That's okay. At the market, let's sell food, sell wood, buy stone, build a castle. As soon as we build a castle, we can start building a treb. As soon as we build treb, we can start sacking Rome. Let's get murder holes since we're here anyway. Okay, we can get gold from other sources now that we have a market. Uh, oh, we're losing that town over there. I guess that's to be partially expected. I did good work while it lasted. Let's sell food, sell wood, get all the gold that we can. Guilds ended up being very useful. Let's get conscription. Let's get uh, two treb. Let's get perfusion. Let's get some barracks online here. Four thirty-seven C. No rush. In fact, we have plenty of time. The year seem to be slowing down a little bit. Let's get the uh, Drugina, sure. Let's get Pikeman. These bills coming out. Hey, yeah, that's Oh, not a barracks. No. Farm gold by clearing the coastline here. I uh, also kind of want to build a castle as well at home. Yeah. Just to be super safe, these cav archers can come up north here to fight. We have heavy cavalry, heavy cavalry, bleh, heavy cavalry archer for a reason now.
Boober, Boober, Boober. Bereite. Boah. Bereite. Boover. Okay, wood is definitely the new hot resource. We have 62 food, uh, food gatherers, so should be good on that front. Let's get two more trebs. Should be good over here. That's a lot of red enemies over there. May have overproduced navy, in fact. Okay, our infantry are super strong though. They've got Regina, they've got Chieftains. So even if they're not super favored against these legionaries, we should still be able to take a sizable chunk out of these guys. Now that we have a lot of food income too, we can think about setting up stables on our foes. Okay, nice. 438. It's only been one year and we've already staged, so... I think we might be in good shape to get the achievement here. It doesn't look like the enemy team is doing too much more to hinder us now. I'm gonna send some of these ships to their suicide. They're taking up too much pop space for me. And they're not being useful. Alright. Time for our trebs to come and clutch here. And we are launching our attack in earnest. Rome doesn't seem to be producing very many units. They seem to be just passively sitting here. Can't say that that bothers me too much. I need all the help that I can get. I'm not even sure what converted me. But these pikes are coming in handy. Let's have our markets sell off even more of our excess stuff. Let's have our barracks research halberdier. Um, and let's have our galeons take these guys out. Just farming more stuff for Abel. Nice. 
Pick up Husser as well. More Huns are entering Gaul. That does not bother me at all. I'm on the complete other side of the world now, so... In fact, they're helping me, if anything. I see. The Maori are Huns, yeah, I see. Yeah. So I'm not completely rid of those guys. Later. Yeah, yeah. It's 440 CE. Um, okay, this is just a wall entrance. So I think these three are the main buildings that I need to sack here. Plenty of resources, we got uh, plenty of units now, and wow, this has been a doozy of a mission, if I do say so myself. We've lost most of our gold units, but we can even use trash now if we have to. Oh god, that Meganel. Took out three of our trebs, or two of our trebs rather. That's not good. They covered your spam with a few trebs in the background and win the day here. Okay, Coliseum down, or whatever this is, is down. Oh, I should have gotten a screenshot, but I don't think I set it up correctly here. Hey, sir. Yeah, also. I'm producing Tarkins. Those guys cost gold. I meant to be producing light cavalry instead of Tarkins. But since we have them, might as well use them. Does this count the as Vandals a sack slaughter of Rome? And plunder the ancient city of Rome, oh? leaving their mark on the pages of history. Very nice. Turns out for the achievement we needed 455, so we had plenty of time left. And now we've begun free play, so we can declare victory at the town center via the special technology to end the scenario. Nice, that is pretty categorical of Filthy Duffy's custom campaigns. I'm gonna hold off on declaring victory right away so that we can uh, enjoy our free play just a little bit more and take the time to discuss what uh, what works for this scenario and what doesn't. Some tips for what to do, what not to do. It is very fun. Um, this might be one of the most replayable scenarios, or I don't know if it's gonna be super replayable for me. But it's definitely very unique. Um, I got to play... I got to experience a lot of things in Age of Empires 2 that I don't normally get to experience. Um, namely, like the nomadic lifestyle, utilizing the Goths' hunt bonus well, um, having to walk far to get food, having to pack up my town center and, and walk away, uh, 
having to deal with my buildings getting destroyed when I pack my town center. There is a custom campaign in the Three Kingdoms where you play as a nomadic tribe that uh, that also has a very similar mechanic. So I wasn't super caught off guard by this mechanic. Um, but it is nonetheless something that you have to pay attention to. You have to manage your wood, you have to manage your villagers. Uh, micromanagement is super important too. There's a lot of things on the map as well, so you need to be careful that you know you aren't just walking haphazardly into things. Careful micro in this area was very important to get to the docks. Having my rams, protecting my rams, and protecting individual units here played such a vital role in many cases. And even like the the units that joined your team in various areas. Um, were very, very useful. Uh, for example, these berserks here ended up being just the right number of berserks in order to bust down the walls here so I could get in and sack my first city. Um, you know, killing or saving this princess and killing off the Franks got me just enough gold to get to the next age. This whole time I'm in this nomadic, uh, I have got this nomadic feel and I'm, I need to like advance to the next age and make sure that my units are getting stronger while preserving what few units I have. Uh, just such such nice intense flow um, from one end of the map to the other uh, throughout the entire mission, right? Like, I will say that near the end here, it does feel like Rome loses a bit of steam. I don't think uh, these cities are really producing anything. They kind of just have whatever units they have sitting here. They don't put any more pressure on you, really. I guess these raiders kind of put a bit of pressure on you, but not really. And even when they show up, like, you've got some Roman camps in between to uh, deal with them, right? Also, like, there isn't much of a navy uh, on the water here. If you've got tons of wood, you can just build a navy super fast and then just crush everything in your way here with no problems. That does feel a little weird. Though I guess you can't be expected to have tens of thousands of wood uh, at that stage of the game. Different players are kind of playing at a different pace, so I do see why the end feels a little bit weaker, at least in my case. Uh, the time limit was good. I did like having this time limit. Uh, it added a sense of urgency. I didn't really understand how much time I really had, because uh, it's hard to just sit and watch the year kind of tick up. By the end, though, I kind of realized that the year counter was very, very generous, so I didn't have to worry too much about my assault on Rome. And maybe that's kind of tossing a coin in the direction of how Rome got weaker over time, to the point where they were able to get wrecked by uh, vandals. Uh, we'll see here that like these, the Huns coming through here are also starting to sack a bunch of uh, Roman towns. I think that's nice flavor too. There's all sorts of content here that I could have uh, experienced. I could have gone in this direction, but the objectives are pushing me west and south in this way, right? The objectives to kill the chieftains, then save the princess, and sack one town. Um, then, you know, get to these docks. It all favors this kind of linear progression of my exploration of the map very well. And that sets up the rest of this map to be used cinematically for the purposes of the Huns showing up and intimidating you. Um and so on and so forth, right? I do like how you're still being put under pressure by the Romans after you sack your first town. They'll send periodic raiding parties and they will whittle you away eventually because you just won't have any means of acquiring more food to produce your, uh, your frontline units. That is really what puts a timer on this mission. Uh, the fact that you can't easily get more food via farms, right? This is, uh, it's just a callback to how important farms are in the late game, and, like the base game late game. The fact that I was relying on hunt and berries pretty much the entire time uh, on the western side of this map, not pretty much, literally the entire time except for capturing enemy farms, uh, shows a lot of like emphasis on having a hard timer on the ability for you to stay on the western side of the map, right? Uh, I didn't realize that Carthage was over here. I thought it was over here. I thought that... As soon as I landed here, I would be good to go, uh, and it would allow me to build, you know, more t town centers, which is why I kind of staged here. Um, I don't think it's a mistake per se, because 
Setting up over here, let me kill off yellow a bit. And let me get the uh, safe set of docks over here so I can build up my navy without too much interference. So that was fine. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice to find out that unpacking here would have gotten me control of this city earlier. You don't really suffer from any attacks in Carthage here. Even though there's a camp like right next to us, it's not doing anything. That does feel a little strange. Um, and there are, you know, like a lot of this right side of the map just feels kind of static. Uh, but honestly, I feel rewarded because if there was even more pressure after all this, it would have been very tough to deal with, I think. Uh, so it was like a nice little victory lap after all was said and done. But the, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is like a whole two hour long recording. So, who knows what time it is for me now. I got back home pretty late, and I've been playing this, so it's probably like 1 in the morning now. I'm about to render the video, and I guess I'll stay up late and uh, publish it so that you guys can get some nice juicy DLC content. If every mission is like this, I'll just be the first to say that the DLC will be well worth it. It's super fun. Filthy Duffy's shows are um, always bangers, certified bangers. So I am looking forward to more. Uh, my voice is dying though. Anyway, to recap, um, definitely recommend staying up here, actually doing all the side objectives. Uh, be patient. No need to pack up right away. It's okay to lose buildings. You're going to be gathering a lot of wood. Um, make sure to research your techs. Cavalry archers early on are very cost efficient to help you um, fight for the Franks well. Uh, repositioning down here will be safe against orange as they get distracted by this area for a little while. As you do that, uh, build a few rams to bust your way in here. Use your hero units liberally, particularly the cavalry unit. He is very useful for taking out monks, taking out siege equipment, um, baiting enemy units uh, without dying because he himself gets very durable. Uh, once you're here, don't stick around too long. Do focus down the production buildings for your first sack, but uh, once you know, once things kind of go wrong over here, um, head south right away and pick up your allies here so that you don't lose all your villagers and lose your town center in the fray. That was probably the scariest part of the mission for me. Then once you're over here, don't stick here for too long. Be sure to use your army of cavalry archers to clear these units out. Um, farm this area for gold while you are fighting here and trying to bust in. Make sure to convert the docks. No need to go super deep into this area. Uh, just convert the docks, get your transports, head over here. You should have plenty of wood by the time you're over here. Leverage the fish. Uh, leverage the dromans. Uh, bust through the naval blockade by building up a strong navy of your own. And use the market liberally with uh, guilds in order to get an extra booster shot of gold with all of your extra resources. So, you know, guilds, early ecotechs, like the, the flow felt so different. Um, very, very fun scenario. I had a great time. I had the custom version of this uh, on my radar for quite some time, but uh, didn't end up playing it. And now it's an official campaign. So I guess I don't have to play the custom version. Yeah, uh, I guess we can declare victory now. The destruction and terror the Vandals visited upon Rome would make the people legendary. Centuries later, echoes of this devastation would cause the Vandals to be synonymous with senseless acts of destruction. But despite this reputation, the Vandals formed an impressive kingdom in North Africa converting from migrating Germanic warriors to skilled seafarers inhabiting Rome's most lucrative provinces. The great wealth of the Vandal Kingdom, however, made it a target for the Emperor Justinian's reconquest of Rome. After ruling North Africa for over a century, the Vandals were finally defeated by the Roman general Belisarius in 534. After this defeat, some Vandals joined the Eastern Roman army, serving as cavalrymen in Persia, while others fled to northern Algeria where they melded into the local Berber population. 
the people that had made an incredible migration from Germania to Gaul to Hispania to Africa had finally ended their journey. They faded into the mists of history. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the map as a whole. Uh, there's a transport ship here for some reason. I don't even think that connects to the west, so I don't know why that transport ship is there. Maybe as like a little Easter egg. Um, you have a priest over here. I honestly don't think you're supposed to go east at the start. I think that's that's a bit of a gotcha because that's where the Huns come from later. Uh. Mountain range separating us from Rome, as expected. A town here. A town here. We never bothered to attack these guys. Berries here. Spawn point for the Maori here. Again, probably not really worth bothering to end their raids. Nice little oasis. Carthage. Another town. And yet another town. And yet another town. Nice! Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to be one hell of a long video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,